Hello friends, welcome to our show. A lot of women are facing various health problems these days. One of them is uterine fibroid, which is a very common problem in women healthcare. Let me introduce Dr. Pradeep Mule, Senior Consultant Interventional Radiologist, practicing in New Delhi, India. Welcome to our show, Dr. Mule. Yeah, thank you very much. So, talking about fibroids, what are the treatment of the fibroids? Uh, when you look for a treatment uh, for a fibroids, the various options is there. And normally, once the patient comes in the first time, right? So we give them all medications and other things. So these are the medical management. Mm. Number two, that depend upon the location and the size and other things also. So we recommend the some other type of the options, which is the surgical option. All right. When you see the surgical option for a uterine fibroid, mm-hmm. so that's a, like one is the removal of the uterus, which is the common uh, surgery done that's all over the world. That yeah, yes, that's a hysterectomy is the very big surgery, and another type of the surgery also there, mm-hmm. right? That is the myomectomy. Myomectomy is the removal of the fibroid only from the uterus. So, Doctor Bulle, you told us about the surgical treatments for fibroids. This seems to be very risky and uh, takes a long time for recovery. So, are there any non-surgical treatments for such fibroids that people can easily opt for? We spoken about the surgical treatments and in surgery, lot of other complication and other things also come. So, lot of people, they do the lot of research and other things to, re- to reduce the this kind of the complication. So the new technique comes right. The, that is the called as the uterine artery embolization, which is also called as a uterine fibroid embolization. Okay. This is the technique is the totally done the non-surgical treatments. All right. Okay, so this has, I mean, uh, covered the surgical part. I mean, this is the most booming. Yeah, say. uterine fibroid embolization is the at par with the all the surgical so methods. How it is done? What is the procedure to uh, do the non-surgical fibroid treatment? Uh, see the like uh, in uterine fibroid embolization, this is the very simple kind of the technique for a patient. Okay. But doctor need to be like a expertise on that one, like how to do this procedure and other things. And this one need the just the tw- one day admission. Hospitalization is required just the one day. And this need the just the very tiny incision into the their abdomen. All right. Right. This tiny incision also like when you compare with the some other thing that the way you give the blood sample, that much only the entry comes. And through that entry, a small thin tube that goes into the artery, through the artery, into the uh, blood supply to the fibroids. And there we give the some medication, which medication called as the polyvinyl alcohol particles. Okay. These polyvinyl alcohol particles, they lodge into the all the fibroids. So in this technique, you can treat all the fibroids multiple in the same fibroid. multiple fibroid in a one setting. Okay. Once this medication that goes into the, gone into the fibroids, so these fibroid that get start getting the shrinkage also. Okay. So this basically dissolve the fibroids. Dissolve the fibroids. It okay. takes like the smaller fibroid that disappear faster, mm-hmm. bigger the fibroid. It takes little time to shrink actually, right? Okay. And this whole procedure will take just the 20 to 30 minutes only. In US and some other area, right, you, this technique is the very popular as a like a 20 minute surgery without surgery. Okay, surgery without surgery. Without surgery. It's very catchy. Okay, uh, talking about the non-surgical treatment, what are the indications on which non-surgical treatments can be practiced? Uh, see, the when you talk about the uterine artery embolization, that can be done in the various type of the disease. Okay. Like uh, even the uh, single fibroid or maybe the multiple fibroids are there. Even in the uterine adenomyosis, this technique is very effective. Okay, other than fibroid? Other than the fibroid, yes, you can do on a adenomyosis also. Okay. You might heard that like the postpartum hemorrhage, during the labor time, during the delivery time, yes. if a woman having the massive bleeding, mm-hmm. so this is the technique that rescues the life of the young woman. Mm-hmm. This is the uterine artery embolization. This technique can be done even after the myomectomy, when the recurrence comes, mm-hmm. when the once the one surgery is done, then again the fibroid is developed. So uterine artery embolization is the tool that can be done, can be handled very easily the non-surgically also by the uterine artery embolization. Okay, that is pretty pretty good. And uh, talking about the benefits, uh, how the uterine fibroid embolization is beneficial over the surgical treatment. Uh, see the like because this requires the, just the one day hospitalization uh-huh. and this not need any scar or something. So if a scar is not there, right, so you're not supposed to come for again a stitch removal or a dressing or something, right. Mm-hmm. And this done in the, just the mild sedation only. And this technique treat the, this is the only technique in a fibroid treatment 
distribute the, all the fibroids in a one setting. No general anesthesia. This is just the mild sedation mild. is required, not the general anesthesia. Mm -hmm. Even some women, those are the contraindicated. Those cannot take the general anesthesia, mm -hmm. like those having the some kidney problem also, those having the severe anemia also. So on that, those are obese also. Those also sometimes they develop the fibroids. So this technique is the wonderful for them. Even in this one, the risk of the blood loss is the almost nil. Mm -hmm. So women not supposed to need a blood transfusion also during the procedure. And when you see the overall, the financially is cheaper than the all surgical that was methods. My next question, actually, you said that it is the latest technique, and uh, you said that this is just a 20-minute treatment and which can dissolve all your fibroids, and that this must be very very expensive. How can people afford that? No, this is the actually the people having the misnomers, right? Is new technique always comes the very expensive. Mm -hmm. This is the less expensive than the surgery because because this need the just the one day admission, okay. right? And the surgery when you compare with the surgical method that require the three day admission, the three day definitely is the more expensive than the one day hospitalization. These not require the so much of the anesthesia, okay. right? So this done in the just mild sedation. So your all the sedation and the sedative medication and other things that expense that goes down, mm -hmm. and the mobility also. Like right? if you do the in the morning time, the for uterine fibroid embolization, your mobility will be there in the late evening time. Even the emotionally, right? Lot of women they say that the is the biggest great help for me. My uterus is retained. I not remove the my uterus. Okay, Dr. Muli, you've said that uh, the surgical treatment has its limitations and uh, its precautions also, side effects as well. What about this non-surgical treatment? Do this have also a few side effects or limitations? Uh, see, the like when you talk about the medical, right? Uh, most of the procedures, surgery, and the, all the medication, these all are the not hundred percent safe. Some every procedure and the every surgery they have the, their own complication. Major the surgery is the bigger the complication. But this non-surgical treatment. Also having the some complication, but these are the minor complication. Particularly when you talk about the uterine fibroid embolization complication and the side effects. So number one comes the infection. Okay. If a woman right and this infection also the never develops within the hospital in a 24 hours on a one day. This may sometime develop after the few weeks, maybe the one week or two weeks. Normally, how to identify these infections, right? These patients normally they develop the fever, mm -hmm. or maybe sometimes the foul smell come from the vagina. If the, these two symptoms are there, normally we start the antibiotic and other things for a three to four days, five days. Mm -hmm. So 99.9 percent .9 of the women they recover by the antibiotic. Okay. And some women like some other what when they go home they have the, some mild fever or something. These fever because of the degeneration of the fibroid because you block the, all the blood supply and other things. But these kind of the symptoms is very easily managed by the antipyretic drugs. But my next question is very important as uh, all of the people, all of the women uh, generally these days they have the health insurance. So as this is a non-surgical treatment, so will it will be covered by the health insurance or not? They did all cover the uterine artery embolization in the insurance also. People generally ask that after how many days I can join my work back. So that's a bit different. Yeah, non-surgical technique, the uterine fibroid embolization, the overall the recovery comes like when you start walking and other things within a one day only. Okay, the next day. Ne next day, same day evening the people can start walk after the procedure and other things and within three days is the recovery time. Uh, how much successful is the non-surgical treatment is for controlling the fibroids? Success rate mm -hmm. that comes around 95 to 97 percent. That's pretty much high. Yeah. Um, Dr. Muni, you've done a tremendous research on this fibroids and you've made a fibroid club also. Yeah. I would like you to tell about uh, your fibroid club to our own. The gynecologist normally they don't refer for a non-surgical treatments and other things, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And a good number of the general population, those suffering by the fibroids, mm -hmm. they don't know about the latest knowledge about the non-surgical treatments. Ah, because when, generally women are not aware about Not this. aware about this, right? Mm -hmm. So that time I just thought to make a something, some website which is the, so I given one name, the Utah, India's first fibroid club. Mm -hmm. By this club, this is the loaded in our uh, the website mm -hmm. and by this website we provide all kind of the information. Mm -hmm. Like what the latest treatment internationally is there, right? So those login on this fibroid club, so we give the, all the regular newsletter and the information and other things also. Even if a, a, some new research going on, 
on a fibroid treatment or a latest what going to become that so these all kind of things will inform that even sometimes the some women those are not staying in a delhi right so even they can send their the uh, investigation report like ultrasound or mri they can send to us we can guide them at least what kind of the line of treatment so you distal, require uh, distal patients can also take can can also can can stuff. also be they take the benefit by this so do you take any charge for the consultant consultant no is is the absolutely free okay so it's anybody can free. log into your club anybody, and ask anybody, any questions anybody anybody those having the fibroid they can just load their pictures mm-hmm. and other things on that mm-hmm. particularly the ultrasound and mri Mm-hmm. So we'll give the free uh, feedback to them also. Mm, that is a marvelous work done by you, Mr. Mule, yeah. and um, thanks uh, uh, for awareing people about the non-surgical treatment yeah. of fibroids. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Mule. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much.